Welcome in. I'm Duncan with Running Water Arts, and you are in my home studio here in Portland, Oregon. And I'd like to welcome you in and talk to you a little bit about one of the backbones, maybe I like to call it, of my art practice, uh, which is playfulness. And how did I come about realizing the importance of playfulness in my work? Uh, well, one moment that I remember specifically was when a mentor um, commented to me, this work makes me feel like I'm rolling down a hill. And that has always stuck with me. I've never forgotten that she said that. And I wondered, what's so great about rolling down a hill? Well, uh... <laughs> It's not like I'm saying we need to just throw all caution to the wind and just roll down hills all day and have a great time and life is just joy and, you know, but there is a quality of that activity that we might be able to incorporate into the day-to-day -day life that can open up a whole new world of opportunities and growth and learning and how playfulness primes us so you know when you roll down a hill you may not be able to foresee every little bump or rock or wet patch um, but oh, we have faith that we're gonna be okay when we roll down a hill that the experience will be worth the effort because it helps us feel alive. We can experience all of these different ranges of emotion and we trust that we're gonna be taken care of. We're gonna be okay rolling down this hill. I don't think I'm gonna die doing this, so let's do it. So this is an analogy I like to use for everyday things I choose to do. And what? does the spirit of playfulness bring to us? Well, when we're working from a safe place where we feel secure, um, and then we open up playfulness. Um, we're inviting in um, freedom, resourcefulness into the picture. And these are important parts of being an artist and no matter what you're doing. And as an artist, we have quite a bit of agency to use the materials around us. So I think it's also important to be aware of the resources we're using and how we're using them, how it's affecting others. Always important to be responsible in our practices. With that said, Making art gives us the opportunity to play with the resources we have available. It gives us an opportunity to celebrate variety. It helps us to learn that contrast makes things possible. It helps us to appreciate what we can observe. It's through contrast that we're able to see so just with night, we have day and all the paradox around us. So I try to remain grateful that everything exists the way it does because it holds the whole web of existence into alignment. This is one of the philosophies I try to portray in an image through art making. So playfulness. Um, I use an intuitive approach, which means I don't start out with a plan. I may plan my first move um, based on the materials I have available that speak to me as being useful in the moment and appropriate. So always bringing in gratitude for what I have what we have, 
so that we are able to appreciate what we have and welcome more into our existence. I started a new work yesterday and I'd like to share it with you um, just how I start a new work and it often begins with a single um, mark so an abstract mark and here I use the squeegee when I started with this rust color one of my favorites it reminds me of clay of earth and so I took a little bit of this I think it's called Venetian red in this case and squeegeed it over the page and what I love about this approach this process is that I'm not quite sure how it's going to leave a mark so it's like rolling down that hill and not knowing exactly what it's gonna feel like but saying this is interesting to me this is gonna be fun and I'm gonna find out so that's part of being alive is that we can find out we can try and so using a squeegee so um, I've used that approach to start a painting for a long time I've used CD cases or cardboard any straight edge from your recycling bin works well um, so play around with the things around you and try to think outside of the box oh <laughs> so um, after that initial mark um, there are spaces left unmarked so that gives me a calling to maybe add in some kind of complementary shapes, colors. So in the spaces that haven't yet been marked, I use those spaces to dream up shapes to fill in and contrast with what's there already. So being in the moment in that way. Here I have charcoal, which is literally burnt wood from a fire I had. So no need to always purchase art materials. It's possible to burn wood and use it as charcoal. And that to me is more meaningful and personal. I feel like I have a sincere connection with that material. So, and then here is color pencil. And I chose green to complement the tones in the red. And then the yellow adds in a brightness, sort of a contrast of hue there. So some other pinks can also be used. So if I start out with one color, I can use a, a range of that same color and it really helps amplify um, that note in a more like a chord, if you will, <laughs> in um, a work. So. Thank you for sharing this with me and I appreciate you watching and being part of my art process and sharing in the joy of this world and practice with you and um, I hope you're taking very good care of yourself and your loved ones and have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.